Hello and welcome to the Abnormal Psychology Fall 23 Syllabus. I wanted to give you a bit of an overview of this, of this uh, syllabus. So I want to make sure I can make some things very clear for you to make sure you understand everything. So there's a couple things I want to point out first. Asynchronous. That just means that we don't all meet at the same time online. Okay, so that just means you can take this course any time of the day, any day of the week, between the September opening date to December, what is it, 15, I think it closes the semester. So if you missed any of those dates for uh, test assignments and journals, of course, you don't get any grades. So this is really important to pay attention to. Asynchronous just means it's on your own time. Now that can make it a little difficult, and I'll get to where I can be of some support on that. The other thing worth noting is that we're using only Blackboard Ultra, so that's where we're going to be housing everything. So please make a point of visiting in Blackboard Ultra on a regular basis to see what's changed, if anything, and to keep up to date with content. As I've mentioned a few times, and I'm going to keep saying, is please download and print your syllabus and read it really carefully. On your syllabus, it's kind of like a compass. It shows you where everything is going to be expect, all the expectations are, test assignments and journals, when they're open, when they're closed. And so if you don't have that information, it will be very difficult to do well in the class. And I'm going to, it's, as I've indicated, I would really recommend you put this into an electronic device, your phone or your tablet, and learn how to use your alerts to remind yourself to do things before they have to be done. Now this course is abnormal psychology, so we're going to be looking at a lot of really interesting things and hopefully clarifying a lot of misunderstandings and misrepresentations about psychological disorders. Now it's a three hour class, so unlike you're in class where you go to a room and you sit there for three hours, we don't have that, but there is an expectation that there will be about three hours worth of work. There are videos that I make for all the content. There is a textbook you need to be familiar with and notes to take and assignments to do. So there is about three hours of work to do per week. All right, so I hope that's helpful. Now, not everyone is really great at online. I can appreciate, so I've made some videos. You'll find these videos where you locate, in a couple locations, I'm going to put them in where you locate your syllabus, and I'm going to be putting them in some support areas uh, for you just to make sure you have easier access to everything. So I'll show you those um, in the orientation video. Okay, so I'm going to be moving on and reminding everybody that there are no extensions for due dates. The due dates are clearly marked in your syllabus. They are also marked off in your um, Blackboard shell. So it's important, really important, that you do things in a timely manner. Our academic regulations don't allow you to choose your own date to do tests and assignments. They need to be done according to the due dates in the syllabus. And so because, we, because you have this document, you already know when things are due. And if there are co um, conflicts, you need to address them with me. Or if you have a disability that requires some accommodations, please go down to Student Services and see the Disability Support Services. They will help you with what's required to get an accommodation to provide that support for your disability. Okay, let's carry on. Now what we'll do is just move down and show you where and how to contact me. Now this information is also in Blackboard, um, but that's my email, and that's the only email that I have, and you should only be emailing me from your Georgian College account. The, the Ontario Privacy Commissioner doesn't allow us to respond to student emails, personal ones. Now in your emails, please make sure that you put abnormal psychology somewhere in your email, whether it's the subject or the content. I need to know which class of mine you're in. In the fall, I teach four different classes, sociology, abnormal psychology, psychology, and gender studies. So I need to know which course of mine you're taking. I need your first and last name. And I also need you to put something in the uh, subject line. If I get emails with no subject, I do not respond to them. All right, so please put a subject in. And on Wednesdays, 
are the Wednesdays are the days I make additional videos, so I won't be res I won't be responding to emails on Wednesday. However, if you would like to make an appointment with me for with WebEx or MS Teams, you want to do something online face to face, send me an email asking me to meet what preferred method, MS Teams or WebEx, and what it's about. And I'll respond with a date that I can meet with you on one of those dates. And so I'll send you a link. I'll have the link open about five minutes before our agreed upon time just to make sure that it's available for you. Now I made a short little video which I'll add right now and I'll, sh I'll, I'll stop talking so you can watch it on just how to access your textbook. Hi, now I'm just going to quickly show you where to find the basic introductory components to this course. It's in the course essentials and it says here start here. So please just click on it. It'll bring you up to three main things that I would like you to pay attention to. Getting started, if you only have a quick little moment, step into here. In here you'll get a basic welcome. That's where your orientation video is. Land acknowledgement. Now the navigation, there's material here for you, but I also cover some of this in the um, orientation. The essential co um, course documents is really important here. Here you can find out about how to contact me and the different ways you can. Here is where you're going to find your syllabus, your assignment and journal documents, and each document will have a video made by me walking you through each of these things. But I also put into here some special online support videos for tips on how to be successful online, how to make a PDF document, how to use your um, device, smartphone or um, a tablet's calendar to help set up alerts and reminders about things and then also I put in here the screen pal tutorial it'll be I will be putting that video in several locations um, in the semester so you can have easy access to see how that works now the one thing that's really important in regards to the syllabus here is how to access your textbook so I've done this you're gonna have an e-textbook you see your CRN for this course is 12031 so I've left you a link. Click on the link. It's going to take us to the bookstore. In here, we're going to put in the 12031. You will put your student number in here and then search. There's our textbook. It is required. So please make your purchase. It's an e-textbook. You just go to buy books and away you go. All right, so I hope that's helpful. We're just going to close that. And that's really what I, uh, the last thing I'll just touch on while we're here is that there is another link area here that will take you to a variety of student help and support resources and links to help you out with further success in your academic uh, career. In here, I will also post um, your student um, um, orientation video for this class. Okay. So that's what I'm going to cover on this little short spiel. Okay, now I hope that's helpful. Now, as I've mentioned, your syllabus is like your a compass and it goes by week to week. So we'll come to page three here just for a moment because I want to highlight this column indicates which week we're in. I don't put the dates, that's in a calendar. This is the column which indicates what content we'll be covering from the textbook, what chapter it's in, and any content videos. I make videos for every um, chapter for you. Let's come back to week one because what you should get started with is downloading your syllabus assignment and journal, watch the orientation video, and complete the online, uh, complete the, um, the quiz for the uh, orientation. The quiz is available to you starting on the 5th, your first day of class at 8 a.m. and it will close and disappear by the 22nd of September at 5 p.m. Now it's worth 4%. There are 10 multiple choice questions and they're all related to either your syllabus or the orientation video. I've indicated where you locate it, reminded you about printing and downloading, so please do your best 
I think this will help you at least get off onto the right foot. All right. Now, all content that has a percentage, that means there's a, there's a grade, all of them will be found in your module, assignments, and tests. Now, when you get into the Blackboard shell, one of the first things you'll see uh, in there is tests and assignments. That's the first folder at the top. If you click it, everything that's available for you to do is going to be listed there when it's available. So in my instance, the only thing that's going to be listed there for you will be uh, the orientation quiz and the video assignment. Because you can, you can do the assignment in week two, complete it in week five, and post it. It's not due until week 11. So you don't have to wait until the end to do it. Okay? So everything has an open and close date. It'll be available at the time that I say, and it'll be closed and disappear. You won't see it when it's done. All journals are open for two weeks. All tests are open for one week. The tests, you have two attempts to make over a three-hour period over that whole week. So you could do an attempt on a Tuesday, get 76%, let's say. You could do a second attempt on Thursday as long as those two attempts don't take more than three hours. The highest of the two scores will count. Now it's worth pointing out, oh, week 11, there's your assignment. It goes also in assignments and tests and you post your content there. The last week, your last test, which is on chapters 8, 9, 10, and 11, is open on Sunday. Now I do that because last week is difficult. A lot of people have tests during the week, so that's, it offers an opportunity to write it when there's not any conflict with any other test. Of course, you do not have to write it on a Sunday. So you have three tests. We don't cover the whole content of all the course on any test. We do a third of the course test, a third of the course and test. The assignment is 20% and the journals are 4% each. Here's a bit of a breakdown of the test expectations. Read the syllabus carefully and put the dates in a calendar. Read the assignment carefully so that you understand it. You can then, if you need to, set up an MS or, or um, a WebEx meeting with me to ask me questions about the assignment. But please, read it carefully first so that we can talk intelligently about it and I can understand better what you're not understanding and help you out. I want to point out that there are some student support services. Now, I'm only addressing the Owen Sound campus. That's where I work from. I know that other people might be coming from other campuses. All campuses have access to these services. Now, if you do have a disability or if you hurt yourself or have other con concerns that occur during the semester that you need to deal with, um, perhaps an accommodation, you need to provide that um, information to Howard Dravosky um, in Owen Sound. If you're looking for academic or personal counseling, please drop by for um, the counseling services. These are paid for through your tuition, so they are yours to use for no charge to you. Now I've mentioned as well that there are no extensions. There are other academic policies you might need to be aware of, like rights and responsibilities, what is academic integrity, and the rules and regulations about tests and examinations. They're provided for you here. And just a reminder about how important it is to maintain academic honesty and avoid plagiarism. And so I put a little blurb here for you to help you with that. Well, now I hope this is helpful for you to get you off on the right foot. Please take the time to get yourself started. This is a fun course. It's an interesting course, and it's a course where you learn a lot about, acad about um, uh, psychological disorders that probably will surprise you. So I hope you enjoy yourself. I look forward to having you in class, and we'll see you shortly online. Bye now.